Today, we're gonna to talk about a few reasons on why people believe the market has been dropping. Welcome YouTube to Altcoin Picks. First, I wanna say thanks to everyone who has been commenting on my videos, giving suggestions and chatting in my Discord. Also, don't forget to check out our Twitter where we're trying to post as much as possible, our Facebook group and our Discord, which all the links are in the description below. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button on the, that way. <laughs> so we are trying to be more consistent with our news and we're gonna start doing more interviews until the market shows some signs of turning around. Um, let me know what you think. Of course, you can come and comment in the videos. Check out our Discord where you can message me personally or even in Facebook, you can message me there. I love all your suggestions, ideas, help make this video as great as possible. Also, you can see we have a new background. I'm trying to make this more of a PowerPoint type, making it prettier for you guys to watch. Let me know what you think. Of course, any suggestions are very much appreciated. So let's get started. So of course, like I said, this video is about speculation on why the crypto market is dropping. Well, Bitcoin has been heading down towards that $6,000 range, which many people, including my one of my very good friends, Derek, who does TA and he follows that very well, says the base is that $6,000 range. That is the floor. And if we go under that, that's bad. <laughs> so the total market cap is hitting under 300 billion and things are just being they're just bad. If you didn't cash out, then your portfolio is probably dying. It is, you're stressed out. You're probably not watching many YouTube videos and that's pretty much how the market is right now. So what are these theories about why the market is dropping so hard? So first we have this ICO theory, which I think people are really reaching. So one article discussed that the drop may be possible or possibly attributed to ICOs cashing out their Ethereum that they're receiving for the funding of their project. Now, I know there's a lot more ICOs that we had in 2017, but that just seems like a far-fetched reach in my opinion. So I don't really believe that one too much. The next one I wanna to point to, it's an article basically saying that there was a South Korean crypto exchange that was hacked on Sunday. So it's a relatively small crypto exchange in South Korea, it is one of the it's very close to the top 100 exchanges in terms of trading volume. And it appears that the hacker stole around $40 million of crypto, which is meaning that we're at $1.1 billion worth of crypto being stolen by hackers in the first half of this year, which is ridiculous. Over $1 billion being hacked. So I don't know. Do you think that Maybe people aren't as sure as they were since there's just so much bad things happening like that. Now, granted, this was a very small exchange. It's not like Binance or uh, Huobi or any of those big exchanges. I think that would really have a big blow in the crypto space. Outside of that, the article also mentions that their price may have dropped linked to a report on Friday from the Wall Street Journal that the US regulators are investigating four crypto exchanges, including Bitstamp and Coinbase. So they're getting investigated for price manipulation. Now, I know we all have that Coinbase issue with Bitcoin Cash. There was a lot of speculation that there was price manipulation there. So I, I don't know if that is also moving the price, but it's good to watch. Watch that. See if there was anything big that could really hurt Coinbase's reputation. If so, I'm hoping not. I really think Coinbase is really good for the space. So next, let's look at Reddit. So my friend Christopher brought up a very good article that brings up some nice points in my opinion. So basically it's talking about institutional money buying into Bitcoin and how they're doing it. So basically they're doing it in a slow and steady pace and they are basically viewing the floor for Bitcoin's price as the minimum exchange volume required to sustain the network. So obviously in the Reddit article, there's much more. I'm just giving you a very quick summary. And of course, both the South Korean article and this Reddit post will be in the comments below. Check it out if you wanna actually read them. Um, so let's go more into this. So the advice that this guy receives from his investor friend, which is in the, the big time institutional investors, was watch the price fall until the network shows signs of weakening. And when this happens, expect a period of price stabilization low volume trading within a narrow price range with minor upward movement in the price trend as required to keep the miners and their vendors healthy and the ecosystem working properly. 
Then he goes on to say that it seems that these investors see Bitcoin more as like a gold, an arbitrary value store, and that the retail use of Bitcoin for payment isn't on the radar, and that their biggest threat to these institutional investors are central banks who are doing the exact same thing that they're trying to do. So with that being said, you can check out the comments. There are some great and very informative comments out there. The first one I actually like probably the most. He talks about institutions aren't a single entity. It kind of is how he describes it in the Reddit, the original Reddit post, and that they are competing against each other. So it's not just banks. It's actually institutional investors and banks fighting against each other, see who's the first one. And basically, just like any asset class, the crypto market is cyclical. And once one major investor decides that the price has hit rock bottom, then we will go into a bull market. And that's our market news video talking about some speculation about the drop in the crypto market. So basically a crypto exchange got hacked for $40 million. A few exchanges are being investigated and institutional money is slowly accumulating. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Links for the articles will be in the comments below. Please comment with suggestions to improve our videos. And of course, I will see you next time.